Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite right baby girl, <laughs> Gina Daniel Esquire, and this is Gina Daniel TV. I'm a legal practitioner. I make videos here on faith, motherhood, relationship, career, and all that fun stuff in between. If you are please the first time seeing my beautiful face, you're highly welcome. And if you're an OG on the channel, you know I value you, you know I celebrate you and I love you. Welcome for always tuning back to support this channel. Mm -hmm. Alright, today we have a very, 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 very special guest. As in this one here is V V I P guest <laughs> on the channel. And it's no other person than my sweet, beautiful mother in love. My friend, Mrs. Julia Amadi Ayamadu. JP. JP. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to the channel. Get to the mother in law tag and just to know, you know, get to know about us. And she's a she's a very spiritual woman, mm. a mother in Israel. So we're going to learn something from this particular mother in law tag. Mm -hmm. So keep watching. Mm -hmm. What did you tell your son, my husband, when he told you that he has seen a wife? Ah, wonderful. I was so happy. Very beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful. You're happy, you're excited mm. about it. Mm. Okay. I'm very happy about it. I said, Oh, it's happy. I'm on your way. She could make Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Come is thank God. Praise yeah. God. So, what was your first impression about me when you saw me, when you brought it to me? What was your first impression about me? Ah, this is beautiful. This is an excellent, <laughs> excellent girl. And, uh, in fact, Full of wisdom. Amen. It's going to make a very good wife. wife. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. My head is getting bigger. Yeah. Fun fact when I came to Mommy's house, like the first time I came to the house to see Mom and Dad, mm -hmm. the way they accepted me, it was as if we were already married, like mm -hmm. I was already married to their son. Mm -hmm. They took me like their daughter, and it was amazing. In fact, before I even said like 100% yes to my husband, mm -hmm. the the hospitality I got from them because it's important to get married to someone that the parents are accepting of you too. Mm. So the hospitality exactly. I, I got from them also helps me to confirm that on them. I'm like, oh, well, I want to enjoy this house so, so I just because of that I even if I accepted my husband, they are also they already accepted me as their daughter in law. Mm. So that was very amazing. Okay. Yes, to God be the glory. Mm. Mommy, what is more important to a man? Is it good food or good sex? Yeah, both of them are very, very important, mm -hmm. necessary. A, 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 a man cannot have this without eating it. <laughs> so, food comes first, sex, food. Okay. Is that, uh, 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 especially where the love is number one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you didn't prepare for, prepare for this, but... When someone, when a woman wants to serve her husband, what should be her attitude towards serving her husband like a food? Because I know how my mom, my mother in law, used to serve her, my father in law. Mm. It's sometimes, sometimes I say like, I don't know if I can eat. Mm. If it's tea, bread and tea that they want to serve, mm. <laughs> the table will be filled, mm. cup here, mm. also that here, and mm. all that, shiri, 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 all those kind of things. Then, so mm. what do you think? Like some persons now, when they want to serve their husband, mm. when they don't have any special plate, any special cup, or they just do it with any. What should be the attitude of a woman when serving her husband? Yeah, 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 yeah. A woman serving her husband must serve her like a king. Because her husband is a king. Serve her well. Especially depends on what he likes. So, a good one must serve, must serve her husband well like a king and we have a special place for him. Okay. And it must be something that you know he loves. Okay. Serve your husband like a king. Have you heard? So it does something to them. It makes them, I think, extra happy. Because even my husband too, when I start taking paying attention to, him, when I, when we got married initially, I I was just having him like normally, just plates, bowl, and everything. But when I saw how my mother used to serve my husband, mm. I took a clue. And next time I traveled back to my to, to our house, I had to get a special plate for him. <laughs> <laughs> so and he, he was he was really really happy about it. So I just said let me just chip it in so that maybe someone else can, you don't know what you can do to your own marriage or your own relationship. Just try it and see if it works and come and share the testimony with us, okay? Mm. Mm. Okay, so okay. what do you think of me now? Like we've been married for like I'm going to two days. 
mm. almost two years. So what do you think about, about me now as a daughter in law, as a daughter? How do you see me now? Ah, see you, you're doing I mean this is this is exactly what my son desires. Because my son, you know, my son knows uh, in our arts, I mean, for very long time, years. In fact, right from their childhood, at the time that he becomes a, he becomes a, an adult. An, an adult. You know, he cherishes the way I serve the dad, the way we love each other and kids. And that's what has extended to all of them, all our children. Okay. Even our visitors. Okay, so assuming a man is in every now, assuming a man wants to do something, mm. and now the wife knows that this thing that he wants to do is not good or is going to detrimental to the family, mm. maybe financially or even spiritually, mm. and she wants to tell all of them to do this thing, maybe she has tried to, what does she, what would she do? Mm. Or how do you tell daddy not to do something? Because see, maybe as a spiritual woman, and you have mm. seen that that thing now will not go well with him. Mm. But and you love him, so how do you tell him? Maybe you're telling him, and he's not, you know, how do you or how do you tell him? Maybe how do you tell that he not to do a particular thing? Hmm. And that time, like, you know, men always since uh, uh, they, 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 they always see themselves as, uh, you know, in fact, men are the king and they, they are head. The authority, they have uh, authority belongs to them, apart from, yeah, God has given them authority to as the head of the family mm -hmm. and you are just the wife, the he helpmate. You know what I usually do that? First of all, I look at it, I pray. Mm -hmm. I pray for him for understanding and as well as let the, the Lord touch his heart by the power of the Holy Spirit to just to stop him to go to, from doing that thing. And then for if I advise him, let God help him just to listen to me. Okay. And you know, usually uh, men they don't like you when, when they want to do something and, and, and women will interfere. interfere. They don't like, you know, especially from a, a culture we are coming, coming from. Yes. Coming from, you know, men, you know, if uh, um, women try to listen to their wives, the people around Tanya is a woman rapper. Yes, and that so, is controlling. The wife is controlling. The wife that control or either the wife has given him or him, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, but by the grace of God, you just have to pray for him. Pray for okay, him. so you pray and before you, you pray approach him. Before you approach him, you will just say, oh, okay, Daddy, this thing is good, but I think, you know, as a Christian mm. and as well as for testimony said, you know, Bible have already told us that we are a peaceful mm. example for the uh, un unbeliever to see Christ. Okay, you see, if you do it, look at it's going to result to this or that. Okay, you will accept, okay. But however, <laughs> sometimes, uh, yeah, you see, it, it, okay. it doesn't about... really work. Okay. Uh, my, it's okay. They just still end up in doing okay. that thing. So, so it might not be exactly. Okay. You understand? Yes. Mm. He'll take some of your own and do some of his own that he wants to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, for sometimes some, he just so many women are having these issues where you've told your husband not to do it, particular mm -hmm. maybe you prayed and you did it the way you did it, or some women will just go and just go and approach him like that. But from what, what you've said now, there's mm -hmm. reason in approaching God first to talk to yes, him and yes. so that when you talk to your husband in a gentle and quiet way mm. he can accept what you've said you understand yes, yes. but what happens when you tell him and you have approached God and you have told him and he still refuse so women will not feel like okay let me maybe starve him let me be angry with him like what will you advise someone that is going through that mm. like that kind of when you're angry that your husband did not do what you mm. want to what you want him to do mm. How do you approach it? Well, as a helpmate, you don't, you don't need to be angry with him. You just see lo love him, uh, submit to him. When he miss you, you have to 
and mm -hmm. in terms of food, we will give him food, give him the best, you know. Just Mommy is number share. one in giving her husband the best. Uh, I'm not saying it because she's here, but what? <laughs> as in number one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mommy. It's not going to be easy, but the Holy Spirit, God is going to help you to, yeah. even when your husband doesn't do what you want him to do, mm. to forgive him, mm. to be patient with him. With time, like Mommy said, you will start blending, your decisions will start blending together. He'll mm. be thinking the way you're thinking, and you'll also be thinking the way you're, he's thinking. Mm. And with, with time, too. Don't because of that not give him the best food or the best thing in the house. Give him what he likes mm. and all that. And don't deny your husband. Don't deny your husband that important relationship. Yes. So it's, yeah, very very important. Very important. And some men, if your wife tries to do it, mm. that will leave him going outside, outside. The marriage. Yes. Many homes are broken because of that. Yes. You, when you're using sex as a weapon against your husband, mm. it's you that will still at the end of the day regret it and lose. There's also an even language. You use sex in your own advantage, mm -hmm. not the other way around. Don't use it against him and we told him you think you're punishing him. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll talk about that on that day on the channel. Shall? Thank you for watching to the end of the video. God bless you. If you've not subscribed at this point, please subscribe. Watch out for part two of my mother-in-law tag um, with my mother, my beautiful mother-in-law. Okay? Thank you. God bless you. There's something at the end of this video. Watch till the end, the very end, to see it. Bye-bye. It's on that full okay. discussion. Yeah. Sometimes I listen to you. Mm. I'm not